Lisa Perlman, our new Director of Health Services. So great to be here with you and thank you for taking the time to do this. I know it's a busy time. <laughs> I'm glad to be here, thank you. Thanks. So you just started at WPI right before the fall term started. What a time to be starting a new position as the Director of Health Services in the middle of a pandemic. Thank you for coming to WPI. How's it been going? How have you found uh, our plans and our team as you come in? You know, it's been going really well. And I feel so lucky that so much thought was done about how to make this a safe environment for students on campus and how to plan um, as things shift and change, how, how to respond. I've come into a really new group of health professionals. So we've hired several public health people to help with the pandemic response. And I've just really enjoyed getting to know them. And, and you know, we meet literally daily um, to respond to whatever has come up in the past 24 hours. And then there's a much larger group response, this CERT committee. Right, um, the coronavirus emergency response team, right? Yeah, yeah, which I think is very unique, having worked at many different colleges and universities, I've really never seen such an integrated approach. And, um, and it was definitely one of the things that brought me to WPI. And it's just been fascinating to work with this team and they've been so supportive and just, they're such a smart group of people who are working so hard to figure this out because it's never been done. And every day we have new questions that we need to answer and new protocols that we need to develop. And so it just takes this very collaborative approach to, to make this place run. Yeah, I think that's right. I mean, it's been, I've been so impressed with sort of how cross campus the response has been and you're being here is such an important part of that. Can we talk a little bit about our students and how they're doing? You and your team are in contact with any students who test positive. We haven't had too many, luckily, but we do have some. And then they're close contacts who need to quarantine for 14 days. And you're also helping um, make sure that our, all of our health and safety protocols are being followed. What are, you, what are you seeing and hearing from our students who have been impacted by the pandemic? You know, I have to say they've been so um, cooperative as we have needed to do contact tracing with them and isolating and quarantining. Like we've really had nobody um, not just work with us and, you know, move when they needed to move and do all the things that, that we need them to do in order to keep the campus safe. Um, so I think in general, it's a really hard thing to ask students to basically kind of stay in one space yeah. for 10 or 14 days. Right. And and so we try to support them as best as we can with daily phone calls and, you know, visits to health services if yeah. the need arises. Um, we try to get them whatever we can to make this work for them. You know, we try to make sure that there's food that they like, yeah. you know, we figure out their laundry with them. Like we, we want this to, to be comfortable for them. And we recognize that it's a, it's a big ask. It's a really, yeah, it's, it, it, is, it is a difficult thing. But overall, I think our students are doing really, really well and, and are supportive of each other. And I've been incredibly impressed. That's great to hear. Um, and, and, has, uh, and luckily we haven't had anyone who's been really ill, right? So all the students have, who have, have tested positive thus far, have recovered, they're doing okay, right? Just, Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So we've, that also feels lucky yes. that nobody's really become ill enough to need more than just basic health services right. check-ins. We haven't had anybody needing to go to the hospital in any right. way. Like it's been a pretty mild illness for everyone so far. Thank goodness, that's really good. Yes. And, and lastly, I, you know, we talk about all the time about how this is a classic theory and practice moment. We planned for months and months and months to get to the point of, of being able to be open this fall and to welcome our students back. But every single new case brings opportunity for learning. Can you talk a little bit about maybe what, how you all are going about that learning as we go in that theory and practice spirit? Yeah, I mean, you know, as you mentioned, WPI did just a tremendous amount of planning before students came back to campus. And, but it's really difficult to know all the questions to ask until you're in the moment. And so with each new positive case, new issues arise that we need to deal with on the spot and we need to kind of flow with that. And um, one really good example is we came up with 
um, kind of a testing plan for students in quarantine, really based on our first um, positive cases in their close contacts. And we just watched how things happened for that first cluster. And we were really able to come up with protocols that that are gonna deal with issues and just, it, you know, it just really helped us to figure out the right questions to ask and then what we needed, how we needed to change things yeah. to respond. And as a result, we, we haven't seen any real additional spread um, near the campus but from close contacts. It's been, uh, it's been a great thing. Obviously, um, we hope that continues as we get here into the winter season. But thank you so much for all the work that you're doing on behalf of all of our students. And we're so happy to have you as part of our WPI team. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. I'm really glad to have joined this team.